Normally these statements that I've started with have been really brief, but it, but, but it may be a little longer here today. First of all, all the credit goes to Akron, all of it, all of it goes to Akron. Coach Gross, their staff, their players played at a ridiculously high level, a ridiculously high level. We did not, okay? And I know you guys are going to ask me about him not playing in the first half. I get that. So I want to make sure I address that from the jump. We had a player on our roster who did something really, really, really dumb, okay? Really dumb. We're in the locker room celebrating. Under no circumstance should that have gotten onto a Snapchat. Should not, of course. Okay, now, my issue is to assassinate this person's character right here, okay? I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm not hearing it. I'm not <coughs> allowing that to be the narrative. You wanna say he didn't play and it hurt us? Listen, the way they played tonight, I don't know that it would have mattered. But his character, I'm not hearing that. I'm not letting that be the narrative, okay? Did one of our players do something really dumb? Yes. In my pregame talk, I called it asinine. That's how I would describe it, because I have no other adjective to describe it other than that. But Malik had no idea that was going to be. That's in the locker room. It's not supposed to have gotten anywhere. And you know what? Whoever got it, God bless them. You got what you wanted. Great. Okay. But, but, I'm going to talk about him for a second. A year ago, his, his, his grandma, who, who raised him, had a stroke. Okay, his closest mentor, which was my Dobo, passed away. His journey to Kent State wasn't recruited by anyone, went to prep school. Damn near every person he knows <laughs> is, has been killed or is in prison. <laughs> he went to one junior college, went to another junior college came to Kent. He is, after this semester, three credits away from graduating college. Will be the first members of his family on that day happens. I'm not hearing, because I've read it. He went to Akron's campus for two hours. These two dudes got MF'd all over the place. At the end of the game, I, sin, Shoot, it couldn't have been that bad. The Mac was using it in their promo. And he did something that he shouldn't have done. And okay, it happens. You cannot assassinate this dude's character because something that went on in the locker room that should never have been seen, should it have happened? Okay, we can debate what's gonna happen in their locker room. They may have some chance, no problem. Anybody who's been in the locker room knows there's chance that take place. Should that have gotten public? Absolutely not. That's on. If you want to blame somebody, I recruited all of them. So put that on me, not on any of these guys. Okay, This dude had a historic, historic season. What pains me about losing more than anything is that he, sh he deserves to play in the NCAA tournament and let his story be told. Locally, everybody knows he was about to give up basketball 14 months ago. He's the MAC player of the year. Tonight, John Gross, Dustin, Robbie, Rob, that's their staff, who, again, I've got to tell everybody, John's a friend of mine. I, I reached out to him beforehand because I, I feel bad. Ali Ali, he's a heck of a player. He knows he's a heck of a player. He knows he's a heck of a player. Everybody in our locker room knows he's a heck of a player. After the game, I made sure the one person that I congratulated was Ali Ali, because I didn't get their whole teams, you know, doing their deal, which they should be. They just won championship. Their team and our team reinvented ourselves over the course of the year and were the best two teams in the league at the end of the season we played here tonight. They were great. 
their staff deserves credit. Every one of their players deserves credit. I'm not going to let you guys kill these dudes. I'm not going to let it happen. And that's this statement. If you want to ask them questions about the game, go right ahead. I would prefer, again, what else is there to say about it? I've said everything there is. And, and, and I can't emphasize it enough that, again, we all, we're, we're at Kent. We're not supposed to like Akron. Akron's not supposed to like us. Me and their coach have a 15-year have a friendship. So you know what? Congratulations to him. He and his staff and his program and their school deserves what they got. And you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll get better. And, and these guys, listen, what more can you say about how he played all weekend, how he's played all year? Hey, tonight was not our night. So, again, that's longer than it normally is. I apologize for that. But I had to get that off of my chest because I've been holding that in since since this morning. So I'll let you ask some questions about the game. Then you can ask me questions about the game, and then we'll move from there. Um, we, we just didn't execute tonight. Uh, we weren't all on the same page with the play calls. And I don't know. We, we just played bad. Uh, it happens. Uh, and then they uh, they turned turnovers into points. And they went on the run. Man, it was it was real hard to just sit there in the first half and watch uh, my team's playing so hard and knowing like I'm the engine of the team. It's like a car. You don't got an engine. It's not really running. So it's real, real hard. But um, second half, I was just thinking just play defense. That's, that, that's why I think play defense. We set the energy off defense and just let the game come to me. Man, I love to compete. I'm a type of dude. I love to compete. That's that. That's all this. That whole situation. That's all it is. Compete. I just love to compete. I'm a type of player that a coach to hate to play against, but love to play with. So I just love to compete, and I just seen my brothers out there, and just I just wanted to know that I got their back. Just a rough night for me. Simple as that. Anything else for the student athletes? Student athletes can be dismissed. We've been a question for coach. Have a good one. We, yeah, and and that certainly changed the game in the first half. And then the second half, we started out great and cut it to one. We actually had a shot that, that you know, Vaughn had a transition three. He had made one, start the second half. And then he had a transition three that <laughs> if it had gone down, you know, it would have given us a first lead. But look, these guys, um, we competed. We just didn't play well. I mean, at the end of the day, we didn't play well. and. And they played. They played great, or they did. They played great, and and you know, they forced turnovers. Our poor execution was on us, but they forced turnovers. They had a great game plan, um, and they deserved to win. And and in the second half, you know, we we after we couldn't get the lead, they hit back to back threes, got it back to seven. And we really never were able to chip back into it again, right? We just were never really able to chip back into it again. So, um, you know, 
It, that's just the way it is. It's just, you know, it's disappointing because it's so hard to get here. And, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I've had a lot of good teams. And it is really, really hard to get to this point. So it's disappointing to play as poorly as we did when, when it's so hard to get here. Yeah, he was awesome, man. He was awesome. I'm really happy for him. Um, obviously, I wish the outcome was better, but he played. He played great, and you know, it's sort of he he kept us in the game in, in a lot of ways. You know, he kept us in it because he he played so well tonight, and it was really good to see. Happy for him. Obviously, he's really disappointed, um, as he should be, and we all are. We we all are. Um, you know, but, 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 but again, we were seven and eight, right? And January 15th for us to be in the MAC championship game and have won 14 straight games heading into it. Hey, who, who could have envisioned that at that point? So, um, so obviously I'm proud of these guys for, for, for the resolve that, that they showed throughout the entire, you know, throughout the entire year. Justin, certainly a big part of that as a senior. Coach, uh, Jim had uh, eight turnovers against Bowling Green uh, back in January. Did you see a similarity to his play, like maybe a forcing it a little bit? Because he had, you know, I guess six in a row. Yeah. I, I, he, he played a little too fast. And look, I, 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 I Maybe I should have taken him out of the game to give him a breather, but you know we were short-handed, and, and quite honestly, you know, I, I didn't feel like I could, and I probably should have because, you know, you're pressing a little bit, you're trying to do stuff to help the team win. He wants to win so bad, and he's such a good player that, you know, he thinks he can do, he thinks he can do it all, and. He had a tough night, like he had a tough night, and, and they had a really good game plan on him, and they guarded him well, and they, they, they did a really good job making it difficult for him. Um, but he had a tough night, and, and some of it, certainly in that half, sec, first half, you know, he was pressing a little bit, trying, trying to make something happen. I'm sorry. Yeah, they were forcing him to the left, it looked like, on everything, whether it was in the middle of the floor and sort of trapping him. And, you know, Freeman's a good defensive player. He won Defensive Player of the Year, and he's out there being big. And, um, you know, Castaneda's got a lot of pride. And first two times we played him, Sin was, you know, sort of played really well. And um, he he took the challenge and did did a good job against him. And, and and we didn't do a great job because we didn't execute some things that we were trying to execute, and um, and that's what happened. Well, I can't imagine what the day was like. Did you feel coming into the game? I mean, you guys have been a really close team to a lot of things. Did you feel coming into the game that you were in a lot of good shape to be normally in that? Look, you're playing in the conference championship game. As I said, this is hard, man. It's hard to get here. It's hard to – this league is a is a grinder. <laughs> it's hard to get to this point. And, you know, I, I, I felt like we were going to play well tonight. But you know what? I, I feel like we're going to play well every night. And tonight we didn't. Um, disappointing. But, look, I, 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 I can't continue to emphasize enough, like, 14 straight wins hasn't been happened, happened since – I think 0102. You know, I'm hoping again. I, I I'm gonna ask the conference to help us if they can. Like I'm hoping we get an invitation to the NIT. I know some of our metrics aren't great, and tonight probably won't help. But our record, you know, 14 and one in our last 15 games, and when we have Drew, uh, Geo, our whole roster. I think we're 18 and two, or 19 and two, or something like that. So I hope that happens. I don't know that it will because, again, it's hard to to get that too. Um, but I'm proud of these guys for the for the season that they had, and um, 
obviously hurting for for them um, because I know how much they cared and I know how much they wanted to win and how how close they were. There was clearly a lapse in judgment, right? And there was a lapse in judgment by, by one of our players. Yeah, for sure. It's hard to not look at it that way. I don't know if I'd use the word respect, but a lapse in judgment by one of our guys, for sure. 